Hey guys, how are you? Today we are going to go through these tasks. So we're going to fix a lot of small things around the application. So first we can begin by cleaning up the start order function. This should be in order slash views.py. So let's just go to order slash views.py. As you can see here I have a few print lines that shouldn't be there. This can be fixed and similar. So I can begin by just removing these. They were for debugging. And then I can also just move this object into there instead of declaring it because we are not using this object anywhere else. So then this is much cleaner. And I want to move all of these to separate lines like this because that's also much better like that. So now this function looks a little bit better but we can also set the payment intent in here like that and also paid equals true and then we can just sorry and also the paid amount equals total price so then we can just get rid of these four lines so now this function is even better and as you can also see now that we are declaring these variables here but we're just using them here so we can just move this in here instead that's much better last name move the email move the phone, move the address, move the zip code, and move the place as well. So then I can just get rid of these variables and our function is even better. So now I'm not going to do more here, but at least it looks a little bit better now. So if I scroll up, you will see that I also don't use these two functions, so we don't need to import them anymore. So now this function is a little bit better, cleaner and easier to maintain. So then I can go to the to-do list and set this task to done. Next step is to move the menu cart.html into the partials folder. So if I find the cart application here, you will see that this menu cart is a part of this main folder here but it should be a part of the partials. So just move it in there, move. And then I think I need to go to the base.html to make a reference change here. Cart slash partials. And then I just want to search and see if I use this anywhere else. Yes, I use this in the views.py as well. So this should also be renamed to partials. And save. And actually here as well, cart slash partials and save. This is done for HTMX and this is for adding cart and we get this back from the HTMX. So now this is a little bit better and all of the partial uh, templates is in this folder and this is complete templates. So then we can set this to done as well. Next is to do a few changes to the admin interface. So when I've logged in here now, you can see that we see the categories and the products, but this should also be fixed a little bit because as you can see here, this is a, mis this is a misspelling from the word, it should be categories. So if I open up product slash models.py, this change should be done here. So if I just scroll up, and find the category where we add the meta. Here I can say verbose name plural equals categories and save. So if I go back and refresh now, you see that this says categories instead. Much better. And then I want to show the orders here as well. So if I go back to Visitor Studio Code and open up order slash models.py. Sorry, orders order slash admin because you will need to register this with the admin interface so here we need to say from dot models import order and order item and then just admin dot site dot register order and admin dot site dot register order item and save so if i refresh now you will see them here problem now is that I don't know which of these is connected to which of these. If I'm just not going here, then I see it here. 
but it would be much better if I can go into orders and then see here which items is connected. So that is the next step. And to do that we need to use something called a tabular inline. So above the registration we say class order item inline. Now we just pass in admin.tabular inline. And here we can specify which model we want to use, which is the order item. And then which fields we want to get there. Raw ID fields, because I don't want to... This is a foreign key on the order item, which I don't want to load here. So here I can just say list product. And then to register this with the order, we say class order admin. Here we just pass in admin.model admin. And here we can say inlines equals and create a list and say order item inline. If I save now, it's not going to work because you need to add this order admin there. So if I now go back and refresh, you'll see here now that this item is connected to this order. Here I can also add more if I wanted to do that. So if I now go back here again, I want to do some changes here as well. I want to show the ID, the status and when this was created instead of just this here. So to do that, we go here. At the top, we can say list display equals ID, status and created at. So now this was automatically changed out by Django, so now we see a little bit more information. The ID, when it was ordered, and when it was created. You can also make it possible to add filters here, so we can filter on the created date and the status. List filter equals status and created at. Refresh. Now I can say ordered, then I see all of this, if it is shipped, there is none because there are none orders that is shipped. And you can also filter by date. Let's also make it possible to search for the first name and the address, for example. So to do that, we say search fields equals first name and address, save, refresh, oops. No module named James Pat. Okay, maybe this is something I need to install. So pip3 install. We can try to run the server again. I guess this is new in Django 4. I didn't know that. So refresh, and now we have a search bar here. So if I go into this, you see that this was ordered by code width. So let me try to search for this name. And then you actually see all of these four because all of them is done with the same person. Like John, for example. So now you just see these three, but if I search for John, you will only see this. Nice. So now the admin interface is a little bit better. All of this can also be added to the products and similar if you wanted to do that. So then I can set this task to done. Next step then is to fix the mobile styling. There are a few small things that needs to be fixed. For example, if I now go to the front page, just inspect, I can have this in mobile view. You'll see that this doesn't fill out the whole width and it should. So go back here, open up product item, no, so product list item. And up here where we have this, I just want to add W full for width full. So now it fills out and it looks better. Nice. So let me add a few of these to the cart. Go there. Then you will also see that this does not fill out the whole screen. So I need to fix something here. So let's go back here. Open up cart.html. So here where we have the summary with full. Yes, the width should be set to width full, but you can see here that this is overriding this. And it should only override this when it's medium and above. So if I add it there and refresh, you see that this fills out the screen. But if I go to larger screen, it only takes one fourth of the screen. 
So this should also be done in the success, no sorry, checkout.html. Find the summary, md, and save. But here I also want to do one little change. Yes, here we have the width full and padding right 6. This should only be padding right 6 when you are medium and above. So refresh, go to checkout, make this a little bit smaller and everything looks okay. Nice. So then the mobile version of this page looks a little bit better. I can go here, go to the to-do and set this task to done. Next to them is to fix the links in the cart, because if I go here now, go to the cart, you'll see that I can't click the image or the title, so that should definitely be fixed. So let's go to cart.html, and then you can see here that I use this part, so I need to go to that one, and then I need to find the links here. So I have one there and one there, so let's just replace both of them. URL and the name is product and here we just pass in product.slug and save. If I now refresh, oops, okay it should be item.product.slug like that on both places. So refresh and now we should be able to click this and be sent to the full or the detail page for this. Nice. So then I can go to the to-do list again and set this task to done. Then the last task for the day is to fix the header link on the front page. So if I open up front page.html, you will see that the start shopping button isn't working. So replace this with URL shop and close it. So if I now go to the front page, I should be able to click this and be sent to the shop page. Great. So then I can set the last task to done, like that. And that was it for this part. I hope you liked it, and if you did, please hit like below. See you in the next video.